Good morning. Today is Monday, September 26, 2016. I'm Anastasia Crockett. Tonight, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump punch it out. We've got the details. And now Jasmine Diaz, who's responsible for the popularity of modern golf, and now he's gone. Arnold Palmer has passed away. Your CS News starts now. Homecoming week is here. Tuesday is Tropical Tuesday, so wear your school-appropriate tropical gear. Don't miss out on lunchtime activities this week. Today is homecoming court final voting during lunch, as well as sp speed dating activity, costume contest, trivia, and relay race. Come and join the fun. Don't forget to start saving your coins for Friday's assembly as well. It's time for your Lady Bulldogs to get some great iron action. Power Puff Football will be held Wednesday, September 28th at 7 p.m. in the Bulldog Foul. Admission to just $2 and the gates open at 6.30 p.m. Te teams are limited to 20 juniors and 20 senior girls. Sign up in the athletic training room or talk to Coach Jake Smith. A release waiver must be signed by a parent or guardian prior to play. Come out and watch the fun. The NHS yearbook staff will be selling yearbooks all this week in the cafeteria, so bring your $65 to purchase your yearbook before the price increases to $70 on October 1st. There will also be a superhero photo booth for all to take pictures in t today. Yearbook will also be looking for the best costumes for the dynamic duo and 90s outfits to possibly use the yearbook. Remember the deadline to purchase a yearbook is the end of first semester and save yourself $5 and get it next week. Also, if you have taken awesome yearbook worthy photos you want to share, post them at the www.wellsworthyearbooks.com slash community upload and use the code Bulldogs to submit them. Yearbook ad space is for sale for your parents to place a special message and photos to congratulate you on your graduation in the spring. Pick up a flyer in the office or from your English or government teacher to take home and give to your parents. Don't forget the Advanced Opportunities Portal registration deadline for AP and dual enrollment classes is Friday. Please make sure you talk to your teacher or counselors if you have any questions regarding advanced opportunities or fast forward funding. Don't miss the deadline. Sport Mug Club will be having a meeting Wednesday after school in the gym. Please bring your fundraising ideas and think of any medical activities or skills that you would like to cover over the next eight months. Seniors and juniors, practice your taping skills so you are ready to teach the sophomores. Sports Med is also doing a Papa John's fundraiser through May 31st of this school year. Anytime you go to Papa John's, just use the online promo code NAMPA Bulldogs and receive 40% of your off your pizza order and help out Sports Med. The Foreign Language Society will meet tomorrow after school in room 127. We will talk about the details for our first community service and, de and decide on our club t-shirts. Attention multicultural students, are you interested in learning about the AVNZA program? This program is through University of Idaho and is geared toward helping our first generation students to go on with their education. U of I will be here today from 2 to 2.30 p.m. to discuss this program more with you. Please sign up in the front office if you're interested in hearing more information. Leo Club has adopted a highway and we will meet after at school today in room 674 to, cl to go clean it up. It should take about an hour or two, including travel time. If you're going, you'll need a parent signature pick up the form in room 674. The next Skills USA meeting will be held tomorrow at 2.45 p.m. in Mr. Babcock's room 410. We'll be voting for, pre for president and vice president, so make sure to bring a prepared one to two minute speech if you want to run for one of those positions. We'll be right back after this. It's flu season once again, but this year you can avoid getting yourself and others sick. It's easy if you remember a few simple things. The single most effective way to prevent the spread of flu is to wash your hands for 30 seconds. Maintaining a 3 foot distance from those who are sick makes it much more difficult for the flu to be spread. If you're running a fever of 100 degrees or more, you're spreading the flu. Stay home. Even if it's not the flu, you're contagious when you have a high fever. If you wash your hands for 30 seconds, stay 3 feet away from those who are sick, and stay home when you do get sick, you can help everyone stay well this flu season. to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is an 81 with a low of 51 and tomorrow's high is going to be an 85 with a low of 51. And as you can see for the rest of the week, the high temperatures are going to stay in the 80s and the lows are going to be in the 50s. Back to you, Diaz. Hillary Clinton and Republican Donald Trump will face off for the first time on Monday in a presidential debate. 
that could rank as one of the most watched and highly anticipated political showdowns in U.S. history. The size of television viewing audience expected to challenge the presidential debate record of 80 millions who watched the 1980 encounter between Democrat President Jimmy Carter and Republican Ronald Reagan. The 90-minute debate will begin at 7 p.m. at Australia University on New York, Long Island. It is the first of the three planned presidential debates. Both Trump and Clinton, who polls show, are the least liked while White House Candidates in modern history hope to see the debate as to erase lingering voters' doubts and address campaign trail weakness. Arnold Palmer, a seven-time major winner who brought golf to the masses and became the most beloved figure in the game, died Sunday in Pittsburgh from heart complications. He was 87. Palmer, a native of Latro, Pennsylvania, had been admitted to the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, where he was scheduled to have heart surgery Monday, according to the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. No one did more to popularize the sport than Palmer. His dashing presence single-handedly took golf out of the country clubs and into the mainstream. Quite simply, he made golf cool. Today's sat word of the day is a boy, which means hate utterly loathe and detest. You could use it this way. Despite the groom's attempt to conceal his disgust, it was clear to all the wedding that he abhorred his future father-in-law. Thanks for watching and remember, if the news breaks, we'll, we'll fix, fix it. it.